Hello? Welcome back. Thank you. Slight weather that changed the last year's process in terms of the, the embargo section, which will now take place for the national journalists outside the room. So that'll be at the end of the open press conference. Vinny? Uh, yeah, again, can you just bring us up to date with exactly what's happening regarding the pursuit of Caicedo? Where exactly is it at? And What's changed at the club? Because it seems when you were interested in Jude Bellingham, the club wasn't willing to spend <laughs> over £100 million, pounds, but now when it comes to Caicedo, the club seems to have changed the stance. No, first and foremost, I, I got told that I can confirm that the, the, deal, the deal with the club is agreed. Um, whatever that means, exactly in the end, because we want the player and not any kind of agreement, we will see. We'll see that. What did change? It's, uh, we, are, we are a club. Um, we have not endless resources, so if something if we didn't expect a couple of things happening in the summer and uh, fab stuff like this, what we didn't think about that before the summer, to be honest. Um, and when it happened, then um, we gave it a go, and obviously the club was uh, really um, stretched it. Uh, uh, to be honest, it's, uh, but we will see in the end. It's, uh, it's for me. I told you now, but I know that's exactly. And if somebody, if he, if he can speak out something else after, I would be more than happy to do so. But besides that, um, I can unfold, I will not and cannot share. What is that? The fair of the bear? Before? Whatever. <laughs> Something like that. The German sayings obviously don't work. Um, don't praise the night. The day before the night, something like that. Um, so let's see what happens and then um, we go from there. I have to check though. Is he from a medical here today? I cannot tell you. I, have to, I don't know. If you are to seal a deal for Kaiseido, <laughs> will that be effectively it then for the transfer window? Wait, 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 well, yeah, are but, you still interested in Lavia or would you be looking to strengthen elsewhere? Let's talk about that if that these kind of things happen. I, I, it's nothing. Um, I really can say about that. That's the truth. So um, let's do it step by step. Let's see what happens in the next hours or days, and then let's go from there. We have enough time to talk about all that. Then I take it then it's not a distraction ahead of a massive game at the start of the season against Chelsea. No, one has nothing to do with the other. Obviously, um, it's you know, we prepared the, the Chelsea game already for a while. That's clear. Um, and no, there's no distraction. Do you know? Just finally from me. Exactly what to expect against Chelsea because the change of manager and we touched on it a little bit earlier on. We don't quite know what the Pochettino effect is going to be. Yeah, you know, of course not. We don't know that. Um, two, I think, two really good football teams, very talented football teams, will face each other. Um, we watched obviously Chelsea on the tour, whatever we could get from there, from the from the last games we played, the Dortmund game, the Newcastle game. Um, a lot of good things. You can see that um, it's a very, really talented, talented team, and um, that's what we have to prepare for. It's a home game for them, the first home game after a, 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 a long break, if you want, and after a disappointing season. It's all clear, so they will show. They want to show up, definitely. New manager, purchase a top manager, so they want, will show up. We have to be ready. We have to be absolutely ready. Um, yeah. The football they played, it's, can, you can see it. But you can see Poch is there, so it's like you, you, it's, uh, we played obviously against uh, Maurizio very often when he was at Tottenham, and um, so you can see a lot of similarities from that time. Um, and in the end, we don't know exactly. I think um, Nkunku was a key part of the of, of, of the of the plans. Um, very unfortunate for the boy and for Chelsea of course as well with his bad injury. Um, and so that, that was, I think that was something they really planned with. But they have really good options <laughs> offensively to, to 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 sort that. And yeah, let's see. It's the first football game, competitive, real competitive football game for us this season. And um, we don't waste time. We don't want to waste time or whatever. We really want to go for it. But we have to see um, how it goes. And. Um, Everybody asks, and I've, I'm more than 20 years in the business, and it's always the first game. People say you don't know where you stand exactly, and so I'm not really interested, to be honest. I want us to, the 100% we have that day, I want to see, and from there we go. Um, and I think we should give it a proper try. Um, when we started to see 
start a, a new season, there's always a great sense of optimism, usually from most uh, <laughs> yeah. everywhere. Um, how much optimism do you have this year when you, you consider how things were for you last year? I'm not sure if my optimism is based on the last season, to be honest. It's just I, I, I love the preseason so far. We did we I, I, I we worked really worked hard. Everybody can expect that. Uh I enjoyed it a lot, to be honest. It was really good. The boys were open, the boys were listening, eyes open, ears open. So we were really we did a lot, not only on the pitch, but in meetings as well. So we really wanted to learn our game not again because it must be different to what we did before but we wanted to make sure that we really um, go to the next level in our game um, together and that's that's actually what, what what happened but now we all saw you probably you saw the, the preseason games and there were moments when we were too open there were moments when we were not protected enough that's clear and then it's uh, the, the shouts are loud and also I understand that but it's more an organization problem and nothing has not to do with individual quality because individual quality is extremely high what we have. So it's my job to help the boys to organize that better, to protect each other better in these moments. Besides that, how said, I enjoyed the preseason and now let's go. Um, how much of a change is there likely to be in terms of the overall personality of the team, do you think, the fact that you've lost a few yeah, yeah. big characters? Yeah. Um, you've given virtual captains, for example. I mean, what sort of effects are they going to have on well, we have to step. We have, we have to grow into that. It's now not that you can just say that it didn't happen eight years ago with Hendo or whenever it was, and um, and it will not happen now. It's not. It's not about that. It's we don't have to always say, yeah, but Millie would have done that. Would have said that, and Hendo would have said that, and Hendo would have shouted here, and Bobby would have smiled here, and all these kind of things. So we should not do it like that. That makes no sense. We have um, this kind of um, new start with this. Um, Liverpool FC reloaded, if you want, um, is an exciting. It's an exciting thing. So everybody was asking for changes, rightly so, because we were together for a long time and things went really well, and then not that well anymore, and stuff like this. And the timing for a change is always is probably the biggest challenge in life to find that. Um, did we exactly in the right moment? Difficult to answer, but um, now it happened. And that's good. It's a new chance for everybody. Everybody has to step up. The, the new leadership group, and not only them. So, if you look at the players who are not in the leadership group but have all you need to be a leader, um, it's absolutely exceptional. Absolutely exceptional. The new voices are, are great. Cody, um, Dom, 22, captain of Hungary, um, Maka, outstanding. So these boys they are, are there as well. We, we all share responsibility, and it's not that we should give ourselves too much time to grow into it. It's just, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, let's take the responsibility and go from there. And don't try to be like somebody, be the best version of yourself, and then we have a good chance to help the team in the best possible way. And that's exactly what, where we try to help the boys. Mike? Yeah, again, what gives you most encouragement about this new LFC Reloaded? The sessions I saw, the desire, the concentration, the readiness, the openness. Just that I've, I, I, I saw a lot of things where my thought was in that moment. Okay, they mean business. No, oh, let's give it a go. That's it. You could see it. We are not happy. We are not happy. But it's not that I can will and want to remind the boys every day and say, by the way, last year it was like this and that. That's not makes no sense. But it's deep inside. It's there anyway. It's anyway there. So we want to show up. And it's, um, we have absolutely, we, we, we have in, in a few weeks' time, whenever the draw is, and we are really, really happy to play European League. But of course, we want to be Champions League the year after. So there are two possibilities. You qualify for the Champions League or you win the European League. So um, both is pretty difficult. But both we, we should give a, a try for both, I would say. And then we will see if we can do it or not. Um, so... We have targets, a lot of targets. We are highly motivated, and um, how I said, uh, my, my my good feeling is is based on the things I saw and the things we did during the preseason. You've always been very passionate about player welfare. How difficult and how much pressure is it going to put on players now? This new IFAB directive 
that's been taken on board by the Premier League in terms of, of added time, and we're talking about games being over 100 minutes, and it, it might be watered down as the season goes on, we don't know that, but but it, it's if it isn't, it's going to mean an, an extra sort of five or six games per season. Ah, it's difficult, uh, difficult to answer. So I, um, I know where you're coming from. We have a, we have a 90 minute game, and in the end, you have a net net game time um, ball in play between 50 and 55 minutes and stuff like this. And everybody could ask, okay, where's the ball the other time? So and there are obviously moments where the ball is out, and that's part of the game, and it's completely fine. But how much do we have to extend that in this moment, stuff like this? So in the end, we probably, if we can get to 55 to 60 minutes. Um, Ball in play, um, yeah, we will see. But it means I, I, that uh, doesn't sound too difficult. I have to say, when I speak about player welfare, I speak about that in general. The combat we have too many competitions, we have too many so games in general now. But having three or four minutes a game, more ball, ball in play, I can see it now that it will make a massive difference. We will see that there will be a massive difference in the end of the. the if you have ten minutes extra time, imagine that, ninety minutes played, it's nil nil or whatever, or one nil down or whatever, and then you see ten. That gives a boost. That will be intense stuff like this. There will the, everybody will go for that. So that will be interesting to watch. I don't know yet um, exactly how that, how 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 influential that will be. We will see that, um, but. I understand where they are coming from. It's always like the. I think time wasting got too much in the last years. But I think even more so, rhythm breaking was a massive, massive feature. And it came up in the last years, and you thought, oh my God, what are you doing now? You have two, three good situations, and the keeper stays down for two minutes, and you think, hey. Well, you have nothing, so it's difficult to judge in these moments, obviously. But that was got more and more. From that point of view, I'm quite happy that we try to go for that. I thought it makes sense to give earlier yellow cards. You don't want to have a yellow card for time wasting, so and especially not in after 15 minutes or whatever. So that's clear you might not do it then. But I hope at the end we find like a good solution together that we don't have 10 to 15 minutes extra time and yellow cards everywhere. We need to find a solution. Right? But as a as a wake up call, come on, we're actually here to play football and not to to get to to let the time run down somehow um, in the moment when we have the result we want. Um, I think from that point of view, I, I, I rather think it's it's good. But again, more football. It's really difficult to to take in because we are on the edge. That's there's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. Each other sports players I know with the football people and football fans are like, how about I do this, they do that, they earn this and that. It has nothing to do with it. We are at the edge. We have to make sure that that in the future we have to sort that. Um, Unfortunately, there are not as many discussions about it um, because that costs money, and uh, nobody is really happy to do that. So, we will see how the next season goes in that department. It will be really interesting. I'm 100% sure I stand out there, and if we are one it up and somebody tells me 12 minutes, I will not be over the moon. Um, any other way, I think okay, that's nearly half time. Yeah, so let's go. Um, yeah, we will see. Any more open? James? Jürgen, just on, on the transfers and the way the prices have gone up, a number of years ago you said you could never envisage spending like a million on a player. Oh, yeah. It just starts to change because of yeah. the realization you have to do that at times. Everything time. changed, huh? everything changed then. Uh, and obviously, my, do I like it? No. But did I realize that I was wrong? Yes, definitely. Definitely. That's, that's the way it goes. It's not great. It's not top, but it's the way it goes. It will not go the other way around again. Saudi Arabia definitely will not help with that. No, not blaming anybody. It just will not help with it. Another market with with with, with a lot of money. Um, yeah. In the end, it's we as a club. We have just to 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 to, to try to make sure that for us we get with our resources, with the money we have, so we get the best possible team together. And we all know in football it's like that, that will then 50% will like it and 50% will say, yeah, but I would have done this and that, so that's it. But you can believe me, we, we really try everything to, to bring in the 
to bring together the best team or squad for us. That's the idea. Um, and we are not in dreamland, so it's not that we can just um, point on players and bring them in. There's a lot of work to do, to, to do these kind of things. And sometimes one door closes and the other goes up, uh, opens up, and then the other door is opening and these kind of things. So that's, that happens. Um, but yes, if people want to throw my quotes from, I'm not sure, five, six years ago, absolutely no problem. I was that day, that's what was that day what I thought, and I realized now I was wrong. So uh, easy to admit that. Thank you so much for checking out the show today. If you need more Liverpool content in your life, whether it's podcasts, videos, interviews, or great Liverpool documentaries, head over and subscribe to Redmen Plus dot com today it funds everything we do across all the free platforms and we give you amazing content each and every week